Welcome back everyone, um, back onto a, my second episode of No Man's Sky. Uh, if you haven't checked out the first one, the first one's the first 15 minutes um, of gameplay, which is really, really good. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, subsequently spent about, I think this is about now hour eight um, or nine into it. Um, just done a little bit of trading, just currently on this uh, outpost here. And uh, I went down earlier on just to trade in some stuff. I've got about 1.8, nearly 1.9 million. Um, but I think this guy here is actually asking me to marry someone. Um, lovely, lovely, oh, in the truthful. Um, lovely spider headed man. Uh, let me quickly sell this stuff in here. Um, but yeah, not after a massive ship. I've seen people online who've seen some for 36 million and stuff like that, which is just ridiculous. I'm not looking for that kind of money this early on, especially not with a ship as small as I've got currently. Um, so and again if I can get a bigger ship I'm looking for something around about 25 I'd like one of the big ones um, that'd be what I'm after um, I did see one the other day that had had a had a warp drive um, which is obviously what we need I think I'm gonna suffer from the glitch um, which I'll talk about in a bit um, but uh, but it had like a secondary warp drive that allowed you to go further uh, never seen it on any ship since obviously so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop back up again to the space station hang around give it 15 minutes um, and see if he pops back in um, but this guy um, the downbeat life form is studying the image of another young warrior on its pad the pictured warrior looks virile and impressive uh, it has facial tendrils that are outstretched it appears rich and of good breeding stock the look in its eyes is sultry. The life form looks to me with questioning eyes. It clearly needs someone uh, needs someone to talk this through with. Um, I've only got a couple of words now for the Valkyr. Uh, sorry, Val uh, Viking. Um, I've got warrior, and that's all that's showing up on this one. So, um, I think it wants me to marry someone. So, why not um, stop being a space bachelor and marry this weird spider face? But he seems very happy. Um, receive a generous gift I've received oh brilliant um, a helmet that allows me to or a membrane that allows me to breathe underwater which is great because I found one planet that was mostly water there were a couple of um, there were a couple of monoliths under the sea um, down where there were some fishy life forms which are quite good but I just couldn't get to them and wasn't able to stay down for long enough and then when you come up you've got to do the annoying jetpack thing to get out of the sea enough to be able to breathe which is annoying um but yeah it, it was good um but at the moment what i'm gonna do is i think i'm just gonna fly back to the ship um the main space station um or the space as uh, yeah the space ship um area in this system and just kind of see see if he pops his head back up again and um, the glitch that, that i was talking about a minute ago is apparently if you start your game with one of the upgraded um upgraded ships if you pre-ordered it and got the upgrade um apparently because we don't because I, I got it as well because we don't have to do the uh, mission um, that everyone else has to do which is getting a hyperdrive um apparently because we don't have that we never actually get the blueprints for it so unless we that was quite a nice one unless we um actually get a ship with it built in we're we're kind of stuck we can be trapped places um, I think Hello Games is looking into it and they're going to try and patch it in so that it's a mission where if you don't have it straight away um, it'll come back in later on and it'll be a mission on that planet. Uh, I think there was some word of it being the first kind of trading hut that you come across would have a guy who, who offers it to you, which is good, at least I've kind of thought of it. Um, but again, I, I don't know yet. I haven't had a ship that hasn't had a hyperdrive. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pop up into space now and sell a, sell a bit more and then um, see if I can get that much bigger ship. Uh, I don't know if anyone else has had this, this other weird glitch as well. I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong with the controller. But when, when I'm boosting up and into space, um, or just boosting off of a planet, sorry, um, it will just fire me straight up, straight up and into space. Um, I won't have a choice about it. It will just fire me straight up and then I have to burn back down into atmosphere to actually get to where I want to go. Which, not the end of the world, but occasionally there's a, a cool ship or something will fly by and I'm trying to follow it. And it, it won't won't let me in the atmosphere, it will just fire me straight out and then I will have lost the ship. 
Um, so it's just a bit more annoying than anything else. Ah, oh, iron. Don't want that. Um, this is also a, a brilliant place for other people. I don't know if anyone else is watching this who hasn't actually played it yet. But Thanium 9. Um, I managed to get a fair amount of money. I said nearly 2 million. Just literally by just shooting Thamian 9. Which is quite a, a good resource as well for all of your um, your suit, your ship. Um, all that kind of stuff. It can be powered by... Most of it can be powered by Thamian 9. Which is which is nice. Especially as it's so predominant in um, in the asteroids as well. Uh, look out for the big hunks. Some of them contain iron. Um, like this one. I don't know if this is one I just shot at actually. Some of them contain iron, other ones contain nickel. Um, I got a lot of mine just by shooting down the, the big space poos um, that had nickel in them. Um, and yeah, they're literally outside, again I don't know if it's the same for everyone, um, but they're just outside of, there we go, they're just outside of the um, space station so it's nice and quick, jump in the space station, jump back out again. At that point they've all been regenerated and, and procedurally made again. And yeah, just go and hunt down some nickel space poos. Um, which is which is all good. That's quick money. I said it. It's quicker, I think, than just going down to a planet each time and just mining gold. Which I don't know. I don't know what the ratios are actually to to which metals are better than the others and which are worth more. Um, and I was having a look online today, and it was saying that there's still one metal that's so rare that no one in the entire game has got it. Um, which is which is quite cool. And I like the fact that there's still some stuff out there which people just haven't managed to find yet um, but there was a, the recent news on the uh, on the internet today as well about um, the two people who managed to find each other already which shocked um, obviously the developers of it that it happened so quickly but I think basically they were blasting their way towards the center of the galaxy um, and someone landed on on a planet that said uh, so-and-so owned it and of course it gives you your your PlayStation username. Um, so he messaged the guy, and uh, oh, he messaged the guy, and uh, they both went back to the planet. And I think it took him a couple of hours, um, but they both ended up on the exact same planet at the exact same spot, which is really really cool. But they couldn't see each other. Uh, both of them, one of them was daytime, one of them was nighttime. One of them had ships flying over that the other one didn't, which kind of lends itself to the idea that actually this is just a single player game um, that has kind of elements of it um, that are multiplayer so when you name things obviously that's cross compatible but it, it seems as though it may actually just be a single player game not a multiplayer like it's it's kind of I don't want to say advertised as, as I don't think it was advertised as a multiplayer game but it may not be as multiplayer as, as people first first thought which again that may may not be what some people want maybe exactly what other people want but again I, I was hoping to meet up with my friends and have us kind of go on scavenging cruise I would have loved to have, have met up with my with my mate um, Jack played it hovered around in space for a bit gone mining hit planets together come back to space stations I thought that would have been really cool but it, it seems that it may not actually now be possible uh, which a little bit disappointed about but I think might be something they're bringing in later on uh, let me see what I can just sell from my inventory I said Thamian 9 is pretty good you just get it an asteroid you can get a ton that way um, but what you want to look for is the nickel so 112 units so two of those big asteroids um, goes for 14,000 which is pretty good um, that'll peak us over 1.9 which is good um, I don't really think I have anything else that I want to sell at the moment. I'm just kind of I've got it all on me at the moment so that when I do get a, a new ship, it's not gonna not gonna all be lost in the trade. Um but yeah, a little bit annoyed as well to find out that you can't have you kind of can't have and store more than one ship. Um oh god. Well, that's that's okay. I didn't get killed by a giant neon space worm. Um but yeah, you can't have more than one ship, so I don't I don't know if when you're buying them, you're, you're essentially like getting a, an unwritten discount on the following ship, um, which is uh, which is why you then can't access the other one. I'm assuming you're trading, and then because their ship's better, you're just paying a little bit more. Um, but yeah, a little bit annoying with that. So obviously, I've got got the early release ship, 
or the uh, the pre-order ship, which I would have liked to have kept. So I'm a bit of a collector, but obviously I don't think that's now going to be a possibility, which is not not great to be honest. I would have liked to have kept all of them. I really, really want one of these, or at least I want another ship in this in this neon this neon pattern. I think that's brilliant. I think that's that's exactly what the neon magpie would fly around space in something as bright and colourful as that. But I don't think they've got very good slots. I think they kind of stick at 22. No, let's just have a look and see what it's got. Yeah, 21. And it's just got the standard thrusters on there as well. I'm always going to have a look at these and see if I can quickly find find the extra, um, or at least see what the extra jets were called. Just so I know what I'm looking out for in the future. Possibly have a quick look online as well. Um, and see see what they do basically so I'm going to keep having a bimble around um, I'll probably cut the recording here if I do manage to find a ship with the special special engines in it I'll kick the recording back in and show you that or if I do see one I definitely want to buy I'll kick that back in again and show you it before I purchase so you can see how much it was etc Hey guys, we're just checking out this ship here. Um, I haven't seen any big ones come in. This has got that extra one, so um, the hyperdrive is granted more robust deep space exploration capabilities and abilities to leap stars previously out of reach. Please exercise caution while traveling alone in deep space. Users in a uh, user is advised to access hyperdrive system through galactic map. So I think that that's the extended one. So I think that can send you a bit further than the standard. Um, which is, I, I would like a massive ship with that. Again, I think I'm probably going to end up hitting something at about the, the 26 units um, of capacity, but I'm having having no joy with the ones that are coming in here at the moment. I mean, that's pretty big, but I would ideally like one of the ones that looks a bit more like a dragon, the ones that kind of come forwards um, across between kind of the uh, Planet Express from Futurama mixed with the Serenity ship from Firefly. That's what I'd ideally like. Um, I bet this is going to be one flying in now, isn't it? Nope, that's one of the crosshair ones. That's fine, I'm alright with that. Um, what do we have coming in here, though? Another little one. Not big enough. And then... One of those flat ones. Don't really want any of either of those two, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I think I'm going to be looking at landing back on the planet. If I can find it. There we go. Um, trying to find a little beacon go to an outpost or find an outpost and that will hopefully lead me to a nice big ship uh, that's what I'm hoping anyway I have time to wait around um, but yeah I mean if if you uh, if you've got one of the big ships I said I did see one on someone's video today that was I uh, just quickly watched it before this one to see what the biggest ship you could get is. I think that had 42 slots, but it was something like 36 million. Um, which, if you've got 36 million to spend, I'd really recommend it. But it, it was kitted up to the nines. It had everything. Massive ship. It was huge. Um, but yeah, totally, totally what you'd need to be the uh, be the space explorer that that. Um, steals everything from planets I have, uh, have heard of a couple of other oh there we go that's what I want, I want a beacon I have heard of a couple of other players as well um, who, are, who are taking a bit more of the role play aspect of it so they won't they'll try and take as minimal as possible from the actual planet itself or mostly mine asteroids and things which is quite a cool way to quite a cool way to do it to be honest with you um, I mean, it's far more, far more effort than, than I would probably ever put in, to be perfectly honest. Um, but again, it's another level that kind of, it's not a very, don't say it's not a difficult game because that would imply that there's a, there's a point to it. Um, but it's, it's, it's not, it's not a game I think you can really struggle with. Obviously you've got the survival aspect of it as well, which is, which is one thing. Um, but, platinum, dip, oh no, typical. Um, but let's chuck all that zinc and thanium nine over there. Um, actually, I'll tell you what. If I recharge this, um, but yeah, I think it would would add like a nice, nice little dynamic to the game to kind of not 
not try and destroy anything in on the planets themselves. Um, I I know they respawn and everything like that, but it's just another little bit of interesting gameplay, I suppose, that you could add into it. Let me quickly jump in here. What have we got? We have got multi tech uh, combat amplifier. Haven't had to fight anything. Haven't had any aggressive mobs on planets yet, which is which is quite good. Um, all of them have been peaceful. Got a nice little. Oh, what, what are you actually? Have I got you before? No. You're like a curly horned deer thing. Um, apparently, it's fearful. It's probably right because. Oh, it's elderly as well. Poor thing. Um, so I'm on this planet at the moment. It's quite a nice one. Um, I was on one a minute ago that was was acid planet. That was that was horrible and awful. It's basically nothing there. It was a dead planet. It was not fun. Um, it was just very boring. I think the ones with life forms are a lot nicer. Um, but I'm hoping now that I've got the breathing apparatus, I can go back to the other one where it had all of the. What do I want? I want uh, colonial outpost. Um, I'm hoping to be able to go back to the planet, as I say, get all the monoliths that are underwater which will lead for a bit of interesting gameplay. As I said, the underwater side of things is quite good. Um, I heard as well there are there are planets entirely composed of water. Again, don't know if it's just rumour, speculation, whatever. But I don't I don't really see how they would work because you have to you have to be able to land and obviously you can't land on water or liquid or whatever it is technically. So I don't really know how you'd manage to land on those. Um, but yeah, so I don't... I don't know if that's just people's wishful thinking of, of an entire water planet. Um, I'm hoping to find Kevin Costner and set that movie right. But this this is not what I was searching for. Um, quickly land and have a look at it anyway. So I had an outpost here somewhere. I'm just going gonna to hop out just have a quick look around and see if I can find it. But this this isn't what I was after. This is undiscovered. But at the end of the day, it's all credits anyway, isn't it? So I kind of oh right, I can't even go into it. Right, one day, one day when I have a decent weapon, I am going to break into one of these places and then hot foot it out of the place as well when all the sentinels come for you. I've seen a couple of people do it before, and it is it's a bit terrifying. There are like weird mechanical dog things as well, which. I don't know, they, they don't look they look too good to me. Uh, let me just quickly grab all this stuff. Haven't seen any, I've been learning Atlas words as well, but I don't, I've never met any Atlas things. So I don't really know what they are at the moment. I've seen, again, I've seen gameplay of things with like giant visors on their heads and, and stuff like that, but I don't know if the Atlas, the Atlas have got to be a race, I reckon. Um, because I think that thing at the start of it was an Atlas, the big, um, sphere ball thing that kind of talks to you so I don't know if they're kind of sentient AI or or oh brilliant right let me just let me just hop out of this I'm just gonna have a quick scout around because it should show me all the locations I've already discovered um, so that means around here somewhere nope that's the operation center I'm hoping right no it's not gonna do that is it of course not that'd be far too easy um, let me quickly kick back in again that. Again, plutonium, all the plutonium, put it in all of the thrusters, and go! Um, see, so yeah, I just need to fly around at the moment, just got to find one of these way stations. And then hopefully we'll get our nice big ship, hopefully brightly coloured, um, so we can find it a lot easier. Another thing I found as well, actually, is if you want to try and find way stations, it's always worth having a look around in the skies and seeing if you can see any other ships. Most of the time they basically jump from one to the other. So you should, if you're lucky, be able to, if you see a ship and you just miss it, um, you should hopefully, again, don't quote me on this, you should be able to get it again if you hang around for long enough. Um, oh, what's going on? I hovered in space. Um, but yeah, so I am... Um, going to cut it here once more and hopefully when we get to one of these places or if I see a ship kick it back in and then we can see can see what we've got in front of us